All right, so let's face it, the WooCommerce default pages, themes, and checkout pages are pretty much, well, dull. Let me show you a plugin that lets you beautify these sections and make your clients love shopping at your site. It's called Shop Builder, and it's super easy to use. Let's go check it out right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is Shop Builder, and you won't believe how easy it is to actually modify these sections. They provide templates that makes it super easy to just instantly modify those sections on WooCommerce, right? So let's go jump over to my WordPress site. And in my case, I already installed Shop Builder, Shop Builder Pro. And yes, they do have a free version that's also pretty much really usable unless you want those really fancy tweaks that you can do with the Pro version, all right? And you do have to use this with Elementor. So do consider that on the free version too. You don't have to pay for Elementor, all right? So how does this work? Well, once you install these plugins, on the left, you'll find a new menu that says Shop Builder. And this will let you have access to all the available templates for the sections that you want to modify. Now, before I show you this, let me show the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you are planning to buy a shared hosting plan with a really great price, this is a great option. And currently they have a sale going on. So you wanna take advantage of those prices right now. So jump over to the link in the description and head on over here. Now, these are the shared hosting plans that they have available right now, where you can install a bunch of WordPress sites on these plans, all right? So let me show you the business plan, which is $2.95 a month, but it's going to be even cheaper with the coupon that I'm going to provide you. Now, currently, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance. I recommend 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, plus you'll be good to go for four years. Now, that's the current price right now. But if you add my coupon code right here, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $127 with 44 cents. That's for four years paid off. So trust me, it's a great plan, right? So do consider it. Okay, so let's go jump over to Shop Builder. As I mentioned before, we're able to beautify every one of these sections independently with the templates that they have available, all right? So let's get started with the Shop section, all right? Now, by default, the Shop section with WooCommerce, it's, it's all right, you know, it's not that bad, but nothing fancy about it. We can't modify it that much. But with Shop Builder, it takes it to a new level, all right? So you have all these available templates that we can start using right now and use it on a live site, okay? So let me give you a quick example. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use this one, all right? All I have to do is import, it's done. And now I have the option to edit this with Elementor if I like, but this is ready. I mean, I'm able to use this now on my site and it will look better than what I'm using right now. So now I have some new filter categories. I have some default sorting here. And in this case, I only have three products, right? Now in this case, if I click on this section, I will be getting new settings for this section, right? So I am using a grid layout here. And if I select any of these, it will modify the look, for example, Pricing is on top, and if I change this, well, pricing changes, here we go. Okay, we got buttons on the bottom. This one doesn't have buttons, and we can go through these and decide what layout we want to use. So maybe we want a condensed look, maybe we want a more um, informative look, and we have those options available here. Now, there's also list layouts. In this case, this is not a list layout. We're using the grid layout. So those options won't apply, all right? Now, over here on the top, we have settings. So if you want to disable certain sections of this, if you want to disable, for example, the title section, you can do so by just ticking this button on or off. And you have several available options for this. You got content ordering, product images, the settings for those, the action buttons. All of these can be modified really easily with Shop Builder. So do consider that, all right? Now, let me go ahead and add it here. I'm not going to save anything. Just kind of give you the idea of how practical Shop Builder is to use. So just like that, I'm able to modify the shop section. Well, what about another section? Let's modify the product page. But before I do that, let me show you the traditional WooCommerce look. So let's go into products. Let me open up a product really quickly. Here we go. Let me open this. And that's how it looks, right? That's default WooCommerce. And in this case, I don't have any description, just says baby there, but it gives you the idea. That's the layout. But what if I want to make this look better? Well, again, we're going to add new into the templates. We are going to say product for the title name, and we're going to select product page. All right. So now we have these available product pages that we can use. So for example, um, this one, I'll go ahead and import it right now. Here we go. Let's edit with Elementor and boom, we have a new layout for the product. 
This looks way better than what WooCommerce provides you by default. Now, alongside with a better look, again, you select any of these elements and we'll get the option to edit each one of these elements if we want to remove them, add them, keep them, etc. We have every single option available because we are using Shop Builder. So it's a really, really practical way to just beautify your WooCommerce section. And just like you saw with that, we're able to modify all these sections. So maybe, I don't know, we want to change the checkout, right? Maybe the checkout, we want to do a different look. Well, I just go ahead and import it, enable it, edit with Elementor if I need to edit something, and it's good to go. I mean, that's how practical it is to use Shop Builder. Now, alongside with that comes a lot of settings available with Shop Builder. So if we go to settings, we have settings, for example, the global settings, which is, let's go to general. You got notification settings, social sharing sh settings, what you want to preview or not, guest user controls, tooltip settings, and these are my favorites, check out pages. For the building form section, if I want to enable or disable sections on that form, it is possible using this plugin. So by default, WooCommerce asks for a bunch of questions that you might not need for your products. If you're setting digital products, you don't want to add for you don't want to ask for the, the address, but maybe you do, maybe you do want to ask for the phone number. So you have all these options available that you can make required, not required, and do all these changes available. All of these, right? So that's for the billing settings. There's also the shipping form settings. So again, there might be fields that you don't need or you don't want to make them required. And you can do that with this, all right? And there's also Elementor widgets that you can disable and enable. You got Sharp Archive, Single, Quick View, etc. All of those and of modules if you want to enable or disable modules with these options. So again, those come bundled in the Shop Builder plugin that I think is really well worth the pro version if you want to beautify the look of your store to have your clients be happy. I mean, you will sell more if your website looks professional. If it if it looks like a dull, plain WooCommerce site that they go to jump aside, they go to a lot of sites and they see the same type of template and style and just kind of distribution they might get discouraged, but if it looks professional, if it looks more customized, that will give your clients more trustworthiness to your site. So they go ahead and purchase. So again, you have all these available options that you can modify right now with all their available templates and all the available options to edit them with Elementor. So for example, the lost password, the quick view section with the pop-ups, you can change that, the card, the pages, etc. And you can just change the look and have all the available options to modify it. So definitely it's recommended. So if you want to check out Top Builder, the link we provided in the description. And don't forget that they have a free version too that yes, does come along with a lot of limits. But trust me, it does have enough options available and enough, enough options to beautify your WooCommerce store that it's worth even using the free version. So check them out, all right? And if you plan to grab a short hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code here on Hosting Group. Remember, right now there's a big sale going on, so the price is gonna be lower when you grab it right now. So if you see this video in the future, the price might be higher. So grab it now. And that's a wrap.